Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we'll do another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So this is another pre-recorded video, I'm making this before I go on holiday so yeah hello from the past but yeah this video is probably going to come out probably two weeks almost after this was filmed so yeah. <laughs> but anyway today we've got to do three systems. Now the reason why I'm doing three is because I believe one of them is quite a small simulation so yeah there's that so I thought I'd um, do three. So we're doing um, three from Kesa William. Oh, Willem, I'm ho really hoping I'm saying that right, um, the second um, from the Discord, so if you want to um, say who you are in the, in the um, YouTube comments, I don't know your YouTube user, um, let yourself be known, and I'll put a link to you in the description and all that good stuff, so yeah, Kaiser um, Willem, um, uh, Willem, I'm really sorry I can't say that, but, but it don't hate me for scrapping your name a bit there, but I'm sorry, but anyways, let's get into this, so, the first one is called Terraform Trappist 1, so this is one I'm, so it's T-E-R-A, oh my god, I can't even spell today, let me just search Trappist, my spelling sucks, so, there we go, so it's T-E-R-R-A, okay, how did I mess that up, so Terraform Trappist 1, so let's see what he's made here, so, obviously, it's only the size of Trappist 1, because he hasn't made any new objects, he's just terraformed every single one, so let's see what we've got, um, going here, so obviously Trappist 1, you guys all know the size of the star, it's really small, so the first moon, or first planet, so, so Trappist 1b, so this is an all water world as we can see here it's also going for green color theme as well so there it is looking good so obviously we you don't really need to see the radiuses on these guys since you've probably all seen them before if you have the game and i've shown them off in videos the radiuses and stuff so if you want to read those you can pause the video and check them out but yeah there, there's the mass and radius there we will check the similarity though so 94 similarity and then 37 likelihood okay cool it's quite close to the stars other so there's that. Okay, next up we've got Trappist 1C, 92.3 and then 23.6 on the similarity. It's got more land than the previous planet here, so looking good. I should actually try doing this um, on my own as well, Terraform Trappist 1. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But maybe I could do that. Um, I should um, update my um, Terraform in the Solar System video as well. That was I did that so long ago and people really enjoyed that, so I should definitely remake it. So um, Earth similarity 90.3 as well. Um, and then likelihood is 19.3. Oh no, similarity is 90, not 19. So, yeah, there's Trappist 1D. Next up, we've got Trappist 1E. So, this is a nut completely all water as well. So, um, yeah, obviously, there's not going to be a very high likelihood since there's a lot of water here. I think you need a bit of land for the likelihood to be perfect. So, yeah, there is that. And then surface pressure needs to be higher as well for the likelihood stat um, to be higher as well. So, there's that. But either way, looking good. I'm liking all the water wells. So this is quite cool. Uh, next up we've got Trappist 1F, another water world here, so there it is, so pretty much exactly the same as the other one, apart from the size and radius is a little different, so there is that guy. Uh, next up we've got Trappist 1G, so another water world, 12.2 on the surface temperature there, so there's that, um, composition, the stats 94, so we're in the high 90s which is good, so there we go. And then the last object, Trappist 1H, this has got a lot of water on it as well, look at that. So, there we go, that is that. So that's the first system done, so the Trappist uh, 1 system. I know it would be quite short, so that's why I'm doing a free simulation from Kaiser today. So, um, yeah, I'm really hoping I'm saying your name pro properly. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm really saying it wrong, but uh, I'm sorry. But my pronunciation is so bad, you guys know that. So, okay, next up we've got five planet system. Okay, so... That's so, so five planets. So here we go, we've got this one right here. Okay, cool. So let's see what we've got in here. So here is our first star. So it's also a very tiny... Wait, is this the smallest star I've discovered? I think it is. Saturn. Yep, I think it is. I think this is... I think I have the star as well. E, B, L. Yes, it is. This is the smallest star. So here's my version. So yeah, this thing is tiny. It's only a little... Yes, yeah, a little smaller than Saturn. There, there's Saturn right there, and obviously Jupiter is bigger. Yeah, so this thing is literally the same size as good old Saturn here. So, yeah, I think it's just a tiny bit bigger. By We're talking in the hundreds here. This thing is tiny. Obviously, compared to the sun, it's absolutely tiny. So, yeah, there is that. So, the smallest star ever discovered in its own system. Very nice. So, here's the um, first um, object. So, trans and I'm so sorry I'm saying these wrong. Um, so this is an all-white object, as we can see there. 249 degrees. So even even the smallest star ever gives this planet some heat. Obviously, because it's 
obviously very very close to the star. The star is literally just there. So this is probably sort of like IO distance from Jupiter, or maybe Europa distances actually, something like that. So there's that. Next up we've got um Colorus Aronti. So this one here, so it's going with a very pale sort of pink colour here. So let's get a look at it on the flashlight or studio. So you can see it's more of a purple colour, but the star makes it appear more as a brownish colour. But I'm liking that. 52 degrees in temperature there. Um, 75 on similarity, 7.81 on likelihood there. Okay, cool. It's quite a small object as well. It's only a little bigger than Mercury. Okay, next up we've got um, the Viridis colours. Almost sounds like Verdis. I think that's like um, French or Spanish for green. I think Ver Verdis, Verde, something like that. Um, so then it's just got this little moon called Inminio. So we've got that there. Just tiny little moon orbs and quite close. Let's check these stats on this guy. So there's um, the atmosphere. Likelihood is 94. Oh no, no, similarity is 94. And then 58 or 52.8 on the likelihood. Very nice. It's got a magnetic field as well. Actually, do the previous ones have magnetic fields? Oh, they all do. Oh, well, let's turn them all on. So we've got those guys in. What about you? And you do not have one. Okay, so those two have got uh, magnetic fields. Next up, we've got Frigas Locus. So this is a frozen world now, frozen ice world, minus 129 degrees. Yeah, it's sort of quite cold here. It reflects about half the light it gets. So there's that. Uh, the size, a little smaller than the, oh no, a little, little bigger than Mars, I think. And then the last object is Ultimus. So all the way out here, minus 187 degrees. Right there. Temperature, very cold here, so it reflects a lot of light. So yeah, there we go. So that is all of the planets in the five planet solar system there so lastly we have got the seven planet system so yeah apparently all of these systems are his prized possessions so this is probably the best of the best that he has made so i'm liking it so far definitely very nice okay so here is seven planet system so let's see what we've got in here okay so it's a little bigger we're using altar as the main star this time okay cool so there it is so minus ton oh so this is a really really hot object the hottest object we've seen in all episodes so it's an all blacked out object 15 or 1500 degrees 1500 degrees right there so there's a good look of it obviously we won't check the life stats on that because it's pretty obvious that we will not or life won't work there um next up we've got um solby hope i'm saying that right so let's go back to realistic there so it's a black and white object as we can see here 400 degrees so it's more of like a venus like object around that sort of temperature a little larger than venus in earth and, or in mass and radius there reflects a lot of light so this is pretty much a venus like if we obviously decrease this um the albedo it obviously heat up so it's like venus very high luminous or very high albedo but it um is still a um quite hot object due to the a or the surface pressure on it sorry so due to the atm so there's that okay who we got next so next up we've got um Fitness there, so this is a water world here, 65 degrees, oh, that's very hot water, so 65 degrees, let's check the uh, stats on it, so 88.6 on similarity, and then 13 on the likelihood, okay, it's also got a moon there, so um, I really can't pronounce that one at all, so yeah, we've got this one here, more like a mercury sort of world, just a small little rock with quite a hot temperature, 100 degrees, almost 200 degrees there, so there is that little guy, Okay, cool. Let's see who we've got next. Okay, next up we've got Aura Pax. So this is another water world here. Seems like you really do like your all water worlds. Because we've seen quite a lot of them. A lot of these objects are very, very high in water. Um, and there's not much land, as we can see. So there is that. 97 on Earth similarity. Oh, that's high. 58.4 on likelihood. Is it possible? Does anyone know? Is it possible to get 100 on a similarity? See, see if, if any of you are good with this sort of stuff. Can you get 100 on both of these stats on an object that wasn't Earth? If you get a freshly spawned object, can you get it with 100 on both? Like that, Set that as your goal. That would be quite interesting. It's also got a magnetic field there. Looking good. Do all of the previous planets have them? Let's have a look. Yeah, they do. Let's turn them all on. <laughs> there we go. What about the planet closest? Does you, does you have one? Uh, he has one as well. So we've got all the magnetic fields on. Okay, what have we got next? So next up we've got another rocky planet. No gas giants yet. It's interesting. So it's a um, rocky world, blue atmosphere. So it's getting cold. It's more like a Mars sort of object. A cold sort of desert. So there's that. Um, it's got a moon called Calm. There we go. So just a little um, rock there. Next up we've got um, Tavanax. So there's another little small guy. So there are those. Okay. Okay, we've got two more. Does it have a magnetic field as well? Let's have a look. See if we can switch that on as well if it has one. 
Uh, no magnetic field on this guy, sadly. Okay. Next up, we've got um, Ibersi. So this is a gas giant. Here's the first gas giant. So looking good. It's obviously a random spawn. You can't do much with gas giants if you are if you're not a modder, obviously. So yeah, this is just a random spawn. So yeah, pretty interesting colours though. It's got a lot of colours on it. It's got orange. Got like a grey there, light blue, yellowy cream colour, then more grey at the bottom. Okay, not a bad random spawn. Definitely, definitely colourful. So, um, a lot larger than um, Uranus and Neptune, smaller than Saturn though, so it's in that sort of size. 15 masses of Earth. Okay, so it's got less mass than Neptune. Okay, any uh, magnetic field in this guy? Oh uh, yeah, there is one there. Massive one compared to the other ones. But that's actually nice, relatively similar size. And then the last planet is Horta. Here it is here. So minus 248. This is very, very cold here. How far away from the star? Um, 52.4 AU away. Okay. Let's actually check the luminosity of the, the star quickly. So the star is 10.8 suns. Okay, in luminosity. So yeah, this guy is still freezing cold. I'm guessing it reflects. So it reflects 55% of light. So there's that. And obviously these stats. Five on Earth, so 19, zero on life. So life as we know it could not live here whatsoever. So, yeah, there is Horta. So, there we go, guys. That is all three of these systems. So, yeah, let us know um, down below in the comments which system do you think was best. Do you think the colonized Trappist one was best? Do you think the five planet system was best? Or do you think this one, the seven planet system, was best? Let us know down in the comments. I'm pretty sure the creator, Kayser, would be interested to hear what you have to think on his system. So, Kayser, obviously, massive thanks for sending this in. Um, Please uh, let me know what your YouTube account is in the comments so I can obviously put it in the um, description or whatever so you yeah, will get that arranged. But um, yeah, that is it guys. So make sure you um, hit that like button if you haven't already. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes. It's also subscribe if you're new. It helps me generate 4,000 subscribers because we I think we must be close by now because as of recording this video, we're at 3,800. So massive thanks to that because we hit that recently. But this video is coming out in a few weeks time when I'm on holiday. So or maybe next week or the week after i don't know probably in the late months or late week or days of july this will be coming out so i don't know if we have hit four thousand yet so if we have a massive thanks to you guys but if we haven't we must be getting close right so let's see if we can try and get it within the week or something i don't know but yeah there we go guys so that is everything so make sure you guys all have a great day let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and yeah i'll see you in the next video goodbye